is a fright horror movie project year four. Welcome to the Two Ten Nerds. As always, my name is Max James. It's October third, two thousand and fifteen, which means it's day three, and as well as day four of the Thirty One Days of Fright Horror Movie Project year four. The reason why I'm doubling up is just because it's kind of hard to film on the weekends and so for the days that are on the weekends I will end up doubling up every video so there'll be four videos that will contain two movies, two reviews. Um, as well, um, I just for the movies that I'm talking about today are The Voices starring Ryan Reynolds and then you got Nightmare on Elm Street Dream Warriors. Now both of these movies are really good um, they both are very vastly different. <laughs> you got the voices where Ryan Reynolds talks to his cat and dog, but it's a lot darker than it sounds, and it's and it's and it's funny. So a, a horror can have humor. That's what I like about it's a bunch of horror movies that sometimes they are just too serious. Sometimes you do need humor in the horror movies to make it um, to make it vastly. Um, tonally different. You can have these really great moments of humor and then all of a sudden you can have these really great um, horror um, moments. Like uh, Cabin in the Woods. The beginning of the movie is just funny with the two guys talking and then with the stoner guy at the beginning and it's just like great humor moments and then as the movie goes on the humor kind of disappears into horror but Every now and again, humor does um, return in various forms, but it's really good. That's why I like humor in my horror movies. And this is one of those ex one of those um, examples because when he starts talking to his cats and dogs, it's just really good um, because he's very, he has a mental um, problem where he's on prescription medicine, and so he ends up talking to his cats and dogs when he's off of it. And as well as when he quits taking his drug his medicine you see what his world really looks like and he just lives in complete filth and you, when, if you see this movie you'll understand or if you have seen this movie you understand when you see it you'll understand so um, I also have to commend this movie for the CGI work on the cat and dog when they are talking it's fantastic and as well as um, the special effects for the women in the movie where they're just severed heads and um, they they have to act through their face and that, that give them props for that and it's just it's a really funny movie as well as it gets really dark towards the end so it's really good and then Nightmare on Elm Street 3 The Dream Wars it's it's a it's a classic it's a horror classic on its own because you got Freddy, who is this dream master against the survivors of the Elm Street um, killings, and then then um, Nancy Thompson, who is the main person, main um, hero from Nightmare on Street One. She comes back as a psychiatrist, and she is teaching these kids how to um, use their dreams in their favor and when the final battle between the Dream Warriors and Freddy commences it's really good because each of them takes up their own kind of persona in their dream world. One's a dungeon master which he has one of my favorite deaths in the entire franchise of the Nightmare on Elm Street series. And then you got a uh, strong man who isn't <laughs> which when I watched it he's not really that strong <laughs> but it's just funny and then you got um, a few others in there but the kills in this one are really good um, they're really um, innovative uh, there's the there's particular one with the puppets that one is gets me every time just because the, the strings or the veins of the human bodies like oh god so uh, overall this is a strong uh, one on my rating scale which is one is a run-of-the-mill horror, two best watch with the group, three more than average horror but adds nothing new to the horror genre, um, four helps move the horror genre forward, and five being a horror classic. This is the one, it's just run-of-the-mill horror but it's done really well and it, because there's other movies where people have taken drugs and they and then when they quit, uh, 
the world around it. You can see what the, the world actually looks like, but it's just done really well. I'm not saying that, and when I mean run of the mill, I mean, I'm not trying to tear down the movie. I'm just saying that's just basically what it boils down to. It's a, so it's really good. I enjoyed it a lot. I really do recommend that movie. And horror, and like I said, Nightmare on the Street, uh, Dream Warriors is a horror classic. Just because it, it's just an overall what, uh, just an overall good movie. If you took Freddy and replaced him and kind of just like and just made it a little tweaked the little things, it would still be a good idea. So it's a good movie overall. Uh, I know I keep saying that, but that's it. My name is Max James, and I'm going to go geek out.